one of my favorite things is when the conspiracy theorists agree about the conspiracy, but with conflicting evidence to support it. This happens with flat earthers all the time. You've got flat earthers who believe the earth is flat, but they will prove, quote, prove the earth is flat with contradictory, ev quote, evidence. And one of them has to be wrong. And I just absolutely love it. And we have an example from CPAC. As many of you know, one of the big lie election conspiracy theories is that um, part of how Democrats, quote, cheat is with early voting and mail in voting. And so there's a lot of Republicans who say we just we've got to have one day of voting. And if you're a Republican, definitely vote on Election Day so that they don't mess with your vote. But there are others in the Republican Party who are now realizing, wait a second, if the Democrats vote early and by mail and we don't, they get like three weeks of voting and we get one day. That's not good. So here we have a clip uh, Steve Bannon and my pillow CEO, Mike Lindell, interviewing, being interviewed, whatever. And it starts to happen that there's this disagreement. Wait, are we is the problem that we're not voting early or should we or not? This is this is just absolute gold of the it's an example of the mayonnaise that their brains have been turned into. So do yeah, game getting, day voting. Yes, yeah, Steve, we're going to get wiped out again. You cannot give the Democrats 55 days to vote and we have 15 hours. There's no mathematical equation that is going to win you an election. It's great to talk about. It's fun. You get fired up. They've got 55 days to get ballots in and we're giving ourselves 15 hours. <laughs> if we continue this, we'll never win again. Hey, hey. Now, I don't think this guy's wrong in the sense that there is no voter fraud the way they claim there is. And if you do restrict yourself only to the people who can vote on Election Day, whereas Democrats are saying, I'll vote when it's convenient. If there's early voting, I'll do that or I'll mail in by ballot. You are hurting yourself. That is true. Is it, isn't that what they did to Kerry Lake? We had they yeah, plus they, that's why they had to turn the machines off, Steve. And they, <laughs> if they do it the way John's saying, you know, he's just misconstrued. You can't overrun an algorithm and you can't overrun a computer. Okay. You have to do it the way I'm telling you. Okay. I like the woman in the back nodding as if she has any idea what Pillow's talking about. Dude, hold it, hold it. Here's what I propose in the war rule do an REV. We have to have a debate on our side of the football because there's clearly two camps and your camps probably 65 35 but we need everybody 100% on one or the other right. because this is critical so we is critical. I commit that we're going to do this right. and we're going to get everybody a involved in a town in hall like a isn't this the best they're going to hold a town hall to argue should we use the methods that the democrats are using for fraud or should we not but then we hurt ourselves it, it's unbelievable that they're doing this to themselves said every state is different there are states that john will be right in that's what we're doing with the bureau we're investigating look at the footprint of the state and what's the best thing to do in that state yeah. some of these states are um you can vote a week early like in texas they don't have a lot of time to pull from voter rolls and stuff Ah, that's so. So pillow now is coming up with a sort of new conspiracy theory, which is, listen, in states where there isn't much early voting there, it's OK to vote early because they don't have time to execute the fraud that they can do with the machines when you vote like really early. We're doing a class action lawsuit against all machines. So then later, pillow was interviewed by right side broadcasting, and now he is calling this the new big lie. Now, let me tell you the big lie, the new big lie. Yeah. Okay. And this comes from Republicans and it's most of it's the establishment, but there's a few people in our in here that still that they, they because of what happened in Arizona, they believe this. What happened is everyone's saying and this is like even the RNC when I was there running for the chair, they're going, um, we've got to do like the Democrats vote early. Look what happened in Arizona. What if something goes wrong with the machine? We got to vote early and ballot harvest and, and drop boxes. And, you know, if you can't fight them, join them. If you do that, we lose our country. We have fought <laughs> two years to do same day voting, get rid of these machines. Two years, you're gonna destroy everything we fought for. Now, the funny thing is, 
Pillow has been fighting for two years, but they're not any closer to getting rid of early voting and mail in voting. This is fantastic. And this is the exact type of fight that we should allow them to have amongst themselves while we just remember, hey, let's vote. Let's let's vote however it is, because these stories about widespread election fraud have not been substantiated in the least. But we want them wasting their time with this sort of nonsense because it's a black hole for them. It's a complete and total black hole. Hold town halls. Do all all of it argue about whether or not to vote early. Meanwhile, we'll just keep trying to get people registered and convincing people about the importance of voting in the first place.